Well, hi there. How are you? Good morning. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Just uh, having a little fun here this morning. It's time for breakfast. Going to get me some cereal. Mmm. Something good and good for you. Put some milk on it. Oh, yeah. But in the meantime, I thought I'd talk to you a little bit. I know what you're thinking. As you look at all this, you say, you know, you should grow up. Well, let me tell you something. There have been many times in my life I have thought to myself, Larry, you ought to grow up. You know, we're exhorted to grow up even in the Bible. We're supposed to grow up. There's a Bible verse here I'll share with you. Get some of my toys and my cup and everything out of the way. And in 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, the 11th verse, it says, When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. You know, sometimes we've just got to stop and think. It's time to put away some childish things. Now, there's nothing wrong with playing. I like to play. And they say that the only difference between little boys and big boys is the price of their toys. There's nothing wrong with having a few toys. But we're called to grow up in the Lord. There comes a point where we've got to kind of put away all the childish ideas and start thinking the way God wants us to think. We need to grow up. You know, if a child would happen to stop growing and just stay where he is, he'd just be a child all of his life. In the normal sequence of events, a child grows up. In a spiritual sense, if we stop growing, we don't just stay where we are. Unfortunately, we're kind of like a canoe paddling upstream. All the forces of the world and sin and everything pushing against us, and we just have to keep forcing our way ahead. And if we stop growing, basically we stop paddling. When we stop paddling, we don't just sit there in the stream right where we are, frozen in time. No, no, we start going backwards. And we don't want to do that. Nobody wants to go backwards. We want to continue to grow. Sometimes it's a fight just to hold your ground and stay in one place. But we have to grow up. We're the men of the church. And as men of the church, people are looking to us for guidance. They're looking to us to, to trust. They're looking to us to put their confidence in. That's a big responsibility, but as we grow as men in Christ... The Lord gives us the abilities, the talents, the wisdom to be those people that people depend on. You know, your family is counting on you. Your friends are counting on you. The people at work are counting on you. Your church is counting on you. The absolute world is counting on you. Because as Christians, we're the salt of the earth. So we've got to be good at it because there's so much hanging in the balance. So we need to grow up. Now, there's another Bible verse here I'm going to share with you. And it has to do with the fact that we've got to give up childish things and grow up. But I don't think that means that we have to quit being like a child. If you look at a child, they... They're full of wonder with everything is new. They trust so, so strongly. They believe so fully. They have faith. We're called to be like that too. Let me see here. In Matthew, the 18th chapter, the third verse, Jesus said to the people that were standing around, talking about all the great people and who's the greatest and who will be the greatest in the kingdom. Jesus called a little child unto him and he set the child in the midst of them and he said, Verily I say unto you, except you be converted and become as little children, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. 
become as little children. That seems to sort of contradict what we talked about growing up, doesn't it? But I don't think it really does. We're called to grow up and not be childish, to put away childish, selfish, self-centered things. We've got to start living for God. We've got to start thinking of others. And in childlike faith and trust in God, we can mature to be the men of God we're called to be and still have enough childlikeness in us that everything's wonderful and new and sparkling and we can have a lot of joy. We can have a lot of fun in life. There's nothing wrong with having some fun. I like to have fun. Don't I? Yeah, see, I do. And you should too. But we also have to realize our place in the church. We have to be the men of the church. People are counting on us. The church is counting on us. God's counting on us. Counting on you. So that's pretty sobering. But you can still have fun and still have that concept that it's a deep and imposing thing to be called to be a Christian, to live that Christian life. Doesn't mean you don't have fun, but it's something we should take very seriously. So I hope you take that seriously, and I hope that the time that we spend on these men's breakfasts are times that are beneficial. I hope you get something out of it. And, you know, other than a free meal, and here in the last three months, you haven't even got the free meal, have you? No, you've had to provide your own food. But I'm hoping we're going to get back to what we used to do. The first Saturday of every month has always been the men's breakfast at our church. We have food. We have some fellowship. We talk about a lot of things, everything from farming to hunting to wildlife to hobbies. Um, but we also have a devotion, similar to what we're talking about right now, where we can maybe learn how to be better at being the Christians that God has called us to be, the men of our church, the men of our world. So we're looking forward to getting back to that, and it's always the first Saturday of the month. The next month is July, and the first Saturday of the month is the 4th. So the 4th of July is our next men's breakfast. I'm hoping that we're all going to be able to get back together, that the stay-at-home order and requirements and recommendations will be lifted to the point that we can all get together, even if it's outside. I'd like us all to get together. Now, obviously, people are going to have a lot of plans on the 4th of July, and you should. You should be doing things with your family. Hopefully, you'll be able to spend some time with us. If not, we're going to meet the first Saturday of every month, so there's 12 of those months every year, so you can catch up on another one in August or September or whenever. We're going to continue to try to always have those on the first Saturday of the month so you don't have to scratch anything out of your calendar or erase it off of your iPhone or whatever you do to keep track of things. It's always the first Saturday. We're not going to move them around just because of holidays, which makes it kind of inconvenient, and I know it makes it difficult for you to schedule things if you want to come and you can't, but we'll continue to meet we're going to, I don't know, we might even put some things, we may even record some things and put it on videos like this so you can look at it later, if it's worth looking at later. Who knows? But I hope that you have a good week this coming week. I hope that you are taking care of yourself, growing strong, staying close to the Lord, and that you're not discouraged. It's hard to not be discouraged because people get tired of being cooped up in the house. They get tired of not being able to do things. Some people have lost their income. I mean, this is a terrible time for some people. And I just pray that you can find the childlike faith and trust that will help you to, to count on God to bring us all through this and bring you through it and that you can grow up in God just a little bit more every day that we grow up in him. So I hope you have a good week and I hope we can get together sometime soon. I think the church is going to be opening up soon for uh, at least limited services. But someday it'll all, we'll all get back together. But in the meantime, there's no excuse for not spending some time talking to people on the phone, reading your Bible, visiting, uh, trying to build yourself up 
and grow up in the Lord. So hope you have a good good rest of the day. Um, I'm going to finish breakfast and uh, try to do something this Saturday. And I hope that us all looking at each other through video cameras and, and hearing things over social media is at least some comfort, some peace. Uh, you get some enjoyment out of it. If nothing else, I mean, look at all these great toys. If nothing else, you know, you can sit down and and play. Maybe that could be like homework and you can tell your wife or uh, whoever, you know, uh, I was told I needed to play with these and become more childlike. Not childish, childlike. So hope you have a good day. See y'all later. See ya somewhere out in the world, in the church, or at least back on a video somewhere, and hopefully back in, in the church real soon for the men's breakfast. Remember, it's the first Saturday of every month. We start at 8.30 in the morning. We never go past 10 o'clock, guaranteed. So get you out and get you ready to go out and do things on your Saturday. So see y'all later. Take care. I'm going to push this little button here. And when I push this little button, I'll be signing off. So see you later.